Hey everyone, it's Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and today I'm here to show you a new product used for seasickness. Um, it's not really a new product on the market, although it is, um, it has been around for a while, it just has not really been used that commonly for seasickness. But now that it's out on the market, I thought I would share it with you. It is called the Relief Band. Um, and this is, this was sent to me a f actually a, a while ago, a few months ago, um, and I meant to do a review on it, but I didn't. And um, now there is a new Relief Band 2.0 out on the market as well. And so at the end of this, I will actually tell you what some of the differences are on the updated version. Um, there really aren't that many. It's more of a cosmetic, um, more cosmetic differences along with a, a much higher price tag as well. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get started. All right, so this product here, it's actually used for a lot more than seasickness. That's just one, it was actually originated for something else. So, you know, it can be used for seasickness. Um, it's also used for morning sickness, for um, post-operatively, for chemotherapy, and also for simulated sickness. So you gamers out there, this can also be used for you as well. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, I'm reviewing this um, mainly for seasickness reasons, but, um, According to Nick Spring, the CEO of Relief Band, it is, was originally developed to control nausea, retching, and vomiting associated with, associated with chemotherapy. So it basically, they wanted to come up with something that was a non-drug um, um, type thing to help with chemotherapy, the nausea um, you know, associated with that. And so it was originally only used in hospitals. Um, and then after a couple of years, about a couple of years ago, they decided to make it consumer friendly and put it out on the market for the public to use. So um, there's been a lot of research done on this, you know, a lot of clinical studies and it is FDA approved as well. So the relief band here is, um, it is a digital therapeutic device incorporated into the wristband, um, as you can see here which has stimulating electrodes that is worn on the under side here of the wrist. It provides relief from nausea, retching, and vomiting through a gentle electrical stimulation of the median nerve. So there you go. That's how it works and what it does to you. <laughs> so it is splash and shock resistant, although it is not waterproof, so don't go trying to take a shower in it or a bath or go swimming. Um, you know, it can get, it can withhold a little, maybe rain and some things like that, a little mist, but that's, you know, that's about it. Uh, so let's kind of give it a time. So to put it on, you're going to do it kind of like with, with the C-bands, you're going to use your fingers here, you know, up from your, the palm of your hand, kind of count them up and you're going to want to put it on. So it's on the inner side like this. So, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how it's done. You can put it on your right or your left arm. It doesn't really matter. Um, they do suggest that maybe every two to three hours you switch wrists, especially if you have um, sensitive skin. You know, if your skin's not so sensitive, it, it probably doesn't make a big difference. But if you have sensitive skin, you might want to do that. Okay, so here is the little um, conduct conductivity gel here that you're going to put on. Okay, so first we are going to apply. I'm just going to kind of drop it on there. Just a drop here. And then you just want to rub it in like this. Ooh, it feels kind of cold. This is my first time doing this. So we'll, we're going to check this thing out together. Kind of nervous here. I hope it doesn't like shock me or do you? <laughs> okay. So There we go. You just you kind of rub it in until you have like I don't think you can really see it, but you want to have like a kind of a thin um, sheen layer about the size of a, a coin. So you know basically you want it to sort of cover this size here. Okay. So then before I put it on here, we're going to talk. It um, does have five controls. You can see one, two, three, four, and five. Um, 
So is what happens is when you put it on, you're going to turn it on and you will feel a tingling sensation. It will either be kind of at the palm of your hand or up your middle finger, or it may be both. So, and that actually is a good thing. I guess that means it's working. The higher um, settings you go, I guess the more intense the tingling can be. So you're supposed to turn it up as high as you can um, that is tolerable for you because the higher the setting, the better it's going to work. But of course, if number five is you know just too much for you, then you're not going to want to um, turn it up that high. So there you go. So that's how it um, works like that. So let's put it on. Let's see camera's up a little high so here I'm going to put it down here to kind of fasten it it's actually adjustable but my wrist is kind of tiny here <laughs> I guess and it's hard there's a lot of left over here so anyways so okay to turn it on you're just there's a middle button here you're going to press and then you'll see little lights around here so we're just going to put it on the see how I have the two fingers here and then it's right there okay so I'm going to turn it on See the green light flashing? That means it's working. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up one more because I don't really feel much of any uh, tingling. Okay, I can feel a little tingling now and it's kind of weird. It's not really a tingling, it's just like a real subtle, yeah, it really doesn't bother me, but Anyways, so you can turn it up as high as you need to, as high as you can tolerate, but that's how you do it. Then to turn it off, you actually have to go through each setting and then hold it down. Or I don't know if you have to actually go through each setting, but you have to hold it down for a couple seconds and then it will go off. So I'm going to take it off here just so I can show you a little up close, a little more of how it works because it's kind of hard to show on my arm. Okay, so to turn it on, you just push that. You can see it flashing right there. That's setting number one. So then we just push it again. It'll go to two, to three, to four, to five. And then if we want to turn it off, you just hold it down for a couple seconds and it's off. So that's how this little puppy works here. And it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I don't have enough um, seasickness to really spend the money on something like this, you know, but if you are, are someone that is really prone to seasickness, I sure would. And some of the other things that it can be used for are really amazing and it is well worth it for those, you know, if you experience any of those, those things, especially the morning sickness. That, I wish they had these back when, when, I, when I had morning sickness because I was one of those people that had it for the whole nine months. So I would have been wearing this thing the whole time. Okay, so a little more about it. Um, oh, another thing, if your skin tends to be a little dry, you might wanna apply the um, little gel a little more frequently every two to three hours. You know, you wanna keep that gel a little moist under there. Um, as far as cleaning it, um, when you take it off, you just wanna make sure that you clean the, the old gel off of here and off your arm, you know, each time when you chain, take it off for a little while and things. Um, it, runs on batteries. The batteries will last uh, about 150 hours. Um, and that is with on setting three or less. So if you are on some of the higher settings, it's not going to last quite as long. And they are um, replaceable batteries. They take the three volt, three volt lithium um, coin cell batteries, two of those. And another thing is they say it for it's best use in temperatures ranging from 32 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So, and then also 20 to 90% humidity. So most people are within the, that range most, most of the year. So there we go. Um, another thing I will tell you, it does say, I'm gonna read this here. This is a little um, thing they said about kids. Um, cause it does, cause it, in the pamphlet, it doesn't really say anything about kids, just that kids um, to keep out of reach of children. You know, one of those um, little risk, um, under the risk factor things there. So I'm going to tell you what it actually says about children. Okay. So according to Relief Band, yes, they, if they are old enough 
to understand how to control the device and they, are, they have big enough wrists to wear the device, the use of release band, relief bands around 12 years and older is um, like, most likely appropriate. But often children as young as eight can also meet the criteria, meaning that they're you know, able to realize how to work it and have a, a large enough wrist. Um, in any case, however, we still su suggest that you consult your children's um, pediatrician before using this on him or her. So, um, and also makes, also does say to make sure you keep out of the reach of children under the age of eight. So, with that being said, that is the little disclaimer there for um, use on children. Okay, and it does come in the packaging. It also comes with a whole um, little pamphlet here, kind of showing you this whole full-on, let me go up close here, description on how to put it on, where to place it, all that. And then on the other side, all kinds of little information to read here. It tells you, um, you know, again, how to put it on, side effects, uh, just anything, some question, a little question and answer section. It kind of gives you the whole description of how it all works there. And pretty much anything and everything you might want to know about it is right here in this pamphlet it comes with. So there you go. Now there are a few warnings and I'm going to go over those with you <clears throat> because if you're like me, one of those people that sometimes get products and they don't like to read all the fine print. They just, you know, take it out and ready to use it and not read everything. So I'm going to tell you a few things to watch for. Okay. So if you have a pacemaker, make sure you consult your physician. Now <clears throat> it does say in the pamphlet that if it's used properly, it should not interfere with a pacemaker. But once again, it also does say to consult your physician. So I highly recommend you do that because you do not want anything interacting with your pacemaker. Okay, another thing is to keep in mind, I know this is kind of silly, but there are people that out there that will ask this. Anyways, it does not, just because it's subsiding your nausea or vomiting, it is not curing your underlying condition. It's just masking the symptoms for the time. Okay. And one other thing here, it does, um, oh, another thing, if, it, if you are having so much nausea and vomiting that you are just not able to eat, and this is continuing over 24 hours and you're wearing this thing, you know, take the thing off and go see a doctor. Don't, um, you know, obviously it's not working and you shouldn't be wearing it that long if it's not working, okay? Another thing is the elastic, this is, it's kind of like a nylon, it feels like, but it's got some, it's kind of elastic, I guess. Anyways, it's made of a natural rubber latex. latex. So for you out there that have a latex allergy, unfortunately, this probably wouldn't be the best thing for you. Um, although the newest version, the 2.0 is latex free. So if it's something you're really interested in, um, then you might want to shoot for the extra bucks and get the 2.0 because it is latex free. All right. So now we are going to go over a few of the differences between the relief band, which I believe this is called the, is the 1.5 and the newer version, which is the 2.0. One of the biggest difference um, between this and the new version, the 2.0 is the price. Okay. This one will run you around 90 to $95. Um, on most websites. I have seen it as low as $68 on some of the off um, kind of websites. Um, and the new version, the 2.0, will is going for $175 right now or like $174.99 on most all websites. So yeah, that's a big difference. That's like twice as much. So these are a few of the differences between them. Like I said, it's mostly cosmetic. Um, the the newer one has a more modern look. So the band here is like a, a Fitbit type band. So you're going to look like you're wearing a Fitbit. Um, it looks exactly like that. Um, but it does not have any of the Fitbit um, 
I guess, qualities, you might say. It, it does not work like a Fitbit. It doesn't tell you how many steps you're taking, any of that stuff. It is strictly a relief band for nausea. It just looks like that. So it's all about the new modern look. Another thing is it does have 10 settings versus the five. So, um, you know, there's more settings for you. And another thing, it does not contain the latex. So if you have an a latex allergy, then that would be the way to go. Um, so there you go. That Those are really the only main differences um, that I have read about that I can see. So with that being said, if you are concerned about the look, or I guess if you're not concerned about the look, basically, and you do not have a latex allergy, I would just go with this one, the regular relief band, 1.5. It is much less expensive and it will do the trick. And, you know, if you're more, if you want to go for the more cool look and, you know, or you have a latex allergy, then, you know, spend the extra bucks and get the 2.0. So there you go. Here's a nice product to try out if you are prone to seasickness, um, especially, you know, if you're just get a little queasy here and there on, um, random cruises, not every cruise, I probably wouldn't um, spend the money on this. But if you're someone that frequently gets seasick, you know, you have motion sickness, maybe even in the car as well at home when you're not cruising and things like that, then it's definitely worth giving a try. So there you go. A little gadget here to try <laughs> for cruising. Okay, the relief ban 1.5. Until next time, happy cruising.